Matthew chapter 14, the death of John the Baptist. About this time, Herod the ruler heard the news about Jesus, and he told his officials, This is John the Baptist. He has come back from death, and that is why he has the power to work these miracles. Herod had earlier arrested John and had him chained and put in prison. He did this because John had told him, It isn't right for you to take Herodias, the wife of your brother Philip. Herod wanted to kill John, but the people thought John was a prophet and Herod was afraid of what they may do. When Herod's birthday came, the daughter of Herodias danced for the guests. She pleased Herod so much he swore to give her whatever she wanted. But the girl's mother told her to say, Here on a serving plate, I want the head of John the Baptist. Herod was sorry for what he had said, but he did not want to break the promise he had made in front of his guests. So he ordered a guard to go to the prison and cut off the John's head. It was taken on a serving plate to the girl and she gave it to her mother. John's followers took his body and buried it and they told Jesus what had happened. Jesus feeds 5,000. After Jesus heard about John, he crossed Lake Galilee to some place where he could be alone. But the crowds found out and followed him on foot from the towns. When Jesus got out of the boat, he saw the large crowd. He felt sorry for them and healed everyone who was sick. That evening, the disciples came to Jesus and said, This place is like a desert and it's already late. Let the crowds leave so they can go to the villages and buy some food. Jesus replied, They don't have to leave. Why don't you give them something to eat? But they said, We have only five small loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus asked his disciples to bring the food to him and he told the crowd to sit down on the grass. Jesus took the five loaves and the two fish and looked towards heaven and blessed the food. He then broke the bread and handed it to the disciples and they gave it to the people. After everyone had eaten all they wanted, Jesus' disciples picked up 12 large baskets of leftovers. There were about 5,000 men who ate, not counting the women and children. Jesus walks on water. At once, Jesus made his disciples get into a boat and start back across the lake. But he stayed until he had sent the crowds away. He then went up on a mountain where he could be alone and pray. Later in the evening, he was still there. By this time, the boat was a long way from the shore. It was going against the wind and was being tossed around by the waves. A little while before morning, Jesus came walking on the water towards his disciples. When they saw him, they, they thought they had seen a ghost. They were terrified and started screaming. At once, Jesus said to them, Don't worry, I am Jesus. Don't be afraid. Peter replied, Lord, if it is really you, tell me to come to you on the water. Come on, Jesus said. Peter then got out of the boat and started walking on the water towards him. But when Peter saw how strong the wind was, he was afraid and started sinking. Save me, Lord, he shouted. At once Jesus reached out his hand and helped Peter up and said, You surely don't have much faith. Why do you doubt? When Jesus and Peter got into the boat, the wind died down. The men in the boat worshipped Jesus and said, You really are the Son of God. Jesus heals sick people in Gennesaret. Jesus and his disciples crossed to the lake and came to the shore near the town of Gennesaret. The people found out he was there and they sent word to everyone who lived in this part of the country. So they brought all the sick people to Jesus. They begged him to just let them touch his clothes and anyone who did was healed.